You know, I find it doesn't matter how quickly you upgrade to the latest GPU on the market. It's only a matter of time before camera manufacturers bring out a brand new system that has incredibly data rich files, which causes your brand new GPU to feel like that it came out a decade ago. I'm Lewis with Fedivo, and today we're gonna to have a look at how we can handle these very data heavy, large resolution files in DaVinci Resolve if your system isn't necessarily up to scratch. And pay attention to the frame counter just above the viewing monitor to see how efficient these methods are. And before we jump in, remember to like, comment if you're enjoying these videos and subscribe to stay updated for future video updates. Okay, so first, if your machine isn't too powerful, you don't wanna be editing on a 4K, 6K timeline. Ensure that your timeline is 1080p so the processing power is more manageable for the computer. You can then switch back to the correct timeline resolution when the edit is complete. However, if you are still experiencing drop frames or slower than real-time playback using this method, we'll need to take additional steps. First, we can look to improve the performance of DaVinci Resolve by selecting a lower timeline proxy resolution. To turn on this feature, you go to Playback, Timeline Proxy Resolution, and select a reduction of either half or quarter, depending on how much your machine is struggling. And you may find that this is sufficient enough to create real-time playback for your media. So despite its name, you're not actually working with proxy media files, which can be slightly confusing, I know. Resolve is quite literally just reducing the playback resolution to help with the computer workload. However, if you still find that with the reduced timeline resolution that your computer just cannot handle the files that you're editing with, you're likely gonna to have to use either optimized media or proxy media. Let's have a look at what they do. Proxy media refers to the lower resolution copies of high resolution video files created to make it easier for computers to handle the editing and playback of the clips. Thankfully, it's very easy to create proxy media inside of Resolve. Before we look at how to do so, we need to set up some parameters for how you want the proxy media to be generated. And we can do this in the settings panel, which is opened by selecting the cog wheel on the windows lower right corner. Then in the master settings, go to optimize media and the render cache panel. And here you can change the generation properties. You might want to play around with these to find a setting that works well on your machine. But DNHR HQX works well for me. Now head to your media pool, select the clips that are giving you trouble, right click and press generate proxy media. Resolve will now generate lower resolution versions and it's important to note that this is essentially rendering at this point. So if you have a lot of high resolution video clips on a low powered machine, you know, make a cup of coffee or maybe even your lunch as this is gonna take a while. A few moments later. Once the generation is complete, you then must go back to playback, proxy handling and prefer proxies. This will tell Resolve to use the newly generated media and now you can play, edit and review the media without any issues. It is crucial to remember that working with proxy media means you're working with files of a lesser quality that don't hold the same data as the original file. So you may miss important details in the composition with a loss of clarity. And likewise, as you're no longer working with the original codec or raw file, the proxy file doesn't have the same data parameters as the original media. So this means that when you're grading, you will need to disable the proxy media and return to the original media files as you're essentially working in a different color space. If you find that process slightly too cumbersome, it's more than likely that you're gonna find optimized media a better option. Now, optimized media retains the resolution and the color depth. So you can go ahead and jump from the edit page straight into the color page and make some color corrections without the need of turning off the proxy media. However, it does create larger files. With that, let's have a look at optimized media settings. Now, optimized media is designed to replace the files that you're working with with a more efficient codec for playback and processing while maintaining the color depth and resolution. To create optimized media in Resolve, right click on a video clip in the media pool and select generate optimized media from the context menu. You must then use the optimized media button from the playback menu to use the generated media. Now, depending on the power of your machine, you may still struggle with optimized media as Resolve isn't creating a subpar version like proxy media, it's creating an optimized version. Therefore, if your system isn't too great to begin with, then you could still find yourself not being able to produce real-time playback. So what we've learned, a decrease in the timeline resolution will help processing power. 
Activating timeline proxy resolution will further take the strain off Resolve's processing. Proxy media are small, low quality files created to be edit and playback friendly. Optimized media share the same color information and resolution, but are encoded to a more machine friendly format. But as such, this will also take up a lot more room on your device. While the methods listed throughout this video are more than efficient to help with real-time playback and real-time editing, these only really scratch the surface of the many ease of use functionality found throughout DaVinci Resolve. But at a foundation level, I believe this should be more than enough to get you up and running with data heavy footage on a computer that you could perhaps upgrade in the next few years. So I have been Lewis with Fedivo. As before guys, drop a comment if you've enjoyed this video, like as well, and subscribe to be notified in the future. I'll catch you in two weeks.